Vidyamitram Pravaseshu. If you have a lot of Vidya, general knowledge, when you tour, it's very handy. Bharya Mitram Graheshu Cha. Literally, a wife is best companion friend at home. In modern times, I have to say, spouse is the best companion in the house. No gender bias. Why wife? You know, wife is companion to husband and husband is companion to wife. Other day at one place, I suddenly got confused. I said, what is the plural of spice? Sorry, spouse. One person said, it is like the word mouse. Mouse becomes mice. The spouse becomes... For a moment, I believe I was about to. So I was trying to narrate a story. I you know, wanted to say two spouses were having a misunderstanding. So I wanted the plural. So I was about to say, okay. So there was a house and the spice were trying to... How can it be? There was a spicy mischief that that audience, member of the audience said. Anyway, so... Bharya Mitram Graheshucha Vyadhitasya for a rogi, for a sick person, Aushadam Mitram Vidya Mitram Pravaseshu Bharya Mitram Graheshucha Vyadhitasya Aushadam Mitram But the punch line is the fourth line Dharmo Mitram Dharmaha Mitram Mritasya Cha If there is some friend who will go with you even beyond death that is the punya that you have earned, dharma. Therefore, as much as possible, good things you should speak, good things you should do, good things you should think, that is the message. So, that atma is what carries the punya or papa. But this atma, the word being the same, is on an entirely different level. This is after quantum leap. Otherwise, we are stuck in the relative I. Atma Nirdvayat, it being one without a second, that itself is Atma Nishtata. We talk, we hear such words, Brahma Nishta, Atma Nishta and so on. Atma Nishta, Brahma Nishta is nothing but Atma Sanstiti. Be yourself, not the false I, be the true I. That comes to you intuitively when you inquire. Have patience, study, discuss, reflect. Manage your energies, manage your day-to-day -day, you know, life so that more of insightfulness is facilitated. So, similarly, out there in the philosophical circles, they talk about knowledge, they talk about ignorance. Maharshi takes us to a higher level and says, this knowledge of something and ignorance of something both have a locus, a basis, somebody who knows and at some other con in some other context he doesn't know. What if that basis, the one that knows and the one that doesn't know, itself is in software language debugged, itself is erased, ego is erased. You and I are proud. I know five languages, somebody says. I believe there was a couple who knew 11 languages in some place. And then there was a comment after that. Every evening, neighbors heard them quarreling in 11 languages. <laughs> the first word, humor. So, we are proud of something and somewhere else we are a little, you know, feeling inferior about something else. Who is that I that feels superior or inferior? If that is questioned, Maharshi says, Jnana and Ajnana both lose their meaning because you then remain as that undivided, all-pervasive awareness principle. <coughs> then thoughts of I know and some other places thoughts of I don't know rise and fall. That awareness itself does neither has ignorance nor the kind of relative knowledge which is valid in the dualistic realm. In the dualistic realm, you know, these are relative to each other. So, jnana mastikim nātu mantaram, on the non-dual adhisthāna level, since you are everything, 
There is nothing that you need to know. You are yourself everything. Therefore, he asks a question further. Kim Swarupa Miti Atma Darshane Kim Swarupa Miti Atma Darshane Avyaya Bhava Purna Chit Sukham Avyaya Bhava Purna Chit Sukham Kim Swarupa Miti Atma Darshane Kim Swarupa Miti Atma Darshane Avyaya Bhava Purnachit Sukham Avyaya Bhava Purnachit Sukham Bandha Muktyati Tamparam Sukham Bandha Muktyati Tamparam Sukham Vindati Haji Vastudai Vikaha Vindati Haji Vastudai Vikaha Bandha Muktyati Tamparam Sukham Bandha Muktyati Tamparam Sukham Vindati Haji Vastudai Vikaha Vindati Haji Vastudai Vikaha If you and I inquire, Kim Swarupam, what is my true nature? I got hurt here or I felt elated there, that's okay. That I which got elated, which felt good and another I in another instance which felt hurt with due place, due respect to them. Who am I really? If one inquires, that is the essence of this sadhana. The result would be Atma Darshana takes place. Kim Swarupa Viti Vichare Krite Atma Darshanam Bhavati and in that Atma Darshana, in that Self-Realization, what is its experience? The answer is given in the second line. First of all, as the ego, you feel you are rising here but falling there, there is a lot of change. But as the pure Self, you will have a steady inner intuitive grasp of how you are the same. Financial loss, financial gain, people praising you or people neglecting you. Many things happen and inwardly, since you are anchored in something very stable and steady, avyaya, you find yourself changeless on that level. That doesn't mean that an enlightened person never smiles or never shouts or never yells. <coughs> Please do not imagine that way. Even as outwardly he screams at something, you know, seeing some injustice, he may scream. Because personalities, are, like we said before, if somebody loved coffee before <laughs> enlightenment, it's not that after enlightenment he would not like coffee. There's a lot of things continue, personality types. Therefore, among Mahatmas also, don't you find a lot of different kinds? Some were very dynamic, some were very quiet, some would travel, some would not leave their village. So you find that is all. So the Mahatma also might outwardly express great happiness at something and frown at something. But this is inner matter. Inside, if he is a true Mahatma, he or she, the person would not feel any change. I am the same. Somebody else may have a problem. We thought you are a Mahatma, but we saw you getting angry yesterday. <laughs> the Mahatma would say that is your problem. <laughs> if you have difficulty with my getting angry, that's your problem. Even when I got angry, I really didn't get angry. Then you say we have two problems with you. One is you get angry and you speak in such ways, confusing us. <laughs> namaste, namaste, ham nahi samaste. <laughs> so many people keep a distance from all these so-called mystics and mahatmas and so on. Kuch kaam ke nahi hai. They won't come handy to us. That's how they think. But the spiritual insight is that the personality goes more or less by certain rules. It has its momentum. It has a you know, background accordingly. You know. If you have a fine business sense, even after enlightenment, you will see through business issues. Now, various things. It's not just coffee or tea. In a hundred things, personality traits continue. But adharma will leave your bosom. You don't have to go for anything illicit or illegal or unlawful. 
especially uh, dharma is more than law of the land by god's law you know you would not do something unethical you don't need to because you are so secure so avyaya abhava bhava means artificial abhava is natural unborn that's another meaning apurna unending and complete conscious bliss earlier it was said this truth is beyond knowledge knowledge and ignorance the 29th verse says it is beyond bondage and liberation first it may give a jerk to us we thought this is liberation but he is saying it's above liberation see liberation to begin with is conceived as relate you to bondage but true liberation is something different think of it you are in dream and within the dream three times you were jailed then three times you were released <laughs> so in the dream there was imp- getting imprisoned and getting released then you were woke up now you find oh i never went to jail that was just a dream so would you come would you put this sense of ah i am free i am not in jail would you put it on par with that being released from jail within the dream in the dream in relation to getting imprisoned you were out free again the police were after you and put you behind bars so just as in a relative way there is bondage and liberation but waking waking up from that dream is like an another level altogether this too is not actually though we call it liberation nothing really happened you always wear that truth in that sense it is bandha and mukti atitam it is param sukham supreme happiness and you and i becoming daivika as our divine qualities are you know nur- nurtured nourished daivika when we become daivika this liberating insight also dawns on us the stotra or the upadesha sara the kriti comes to an end saying the greatest of all sadhanas is to be without egoism aham petakam nija vibhanakam aham petakam nija vibhanakam mahadidam tapo ramana vagiyam mahadidam tapo ramana vagiyam अहम पेतक निज विभानक महदिद तपो रमण वागीय तप मीन ऑस्टेरिटी सम डिप्लीन दैट यू एंड आई मे फॉलो इवन इफ सम वन गेट्स अप अर्ली एंड without fail i am giving an example tapas is of 100 kinds without fail first half an hour you do some yoga asana pranayam that that is a form of tapas because the general tendency is you are got up with difficulty then you say first let me have a hot cup of tea <laughs> and yesterday's wall street journal i have not read so we like to read read in wall street journal with tea in hand that is called pat in sanskrit pat means to fall <laughs> don't take it literally i don't say anybody who reads newspaper in the morning i don't say everybody you know finally should look within in olden days was it uh, i think henry kissinger about him i read long back in back in india that guy who was quite a able person though there may be a lot of critics also of his I believe every day he would spend some three hours reading so many newspapers. <laughs> also, a newspaper, quite smart, intelligent person, Secretary of State he was to one of the presidents. Uh, so there are some people, you know, and uh, so I don't want to generalize, but if the tendencies in you. or to do some less important thing and lose time and but you 
what is called swimming against the current. You swim against the current and do something worthy, that is tapas. In that light we may say, Maharshi Ramana says, Mahat tapaha, Mahat idam tapaha, more than any japa, tapa, this or that, he is. In whatever we do, we keep, we steer clear of egoism. So in light of a question that was raised, to be free of ego is not out of a decision. By being alert and noticing the foul smell of an egoistic movement, if you have intensely noticed, it has to go. So everything finally comes to intense and uh, you know, steady awareness. A Christian priest said to me last, uh, last month in Bangalore, in some Christian book, it's true everywhere, he said, you know Swami, I mean, I, in my understanding, all spirituality is awareness in the beginning, awareness in the middle, awareness at the end, he said. I said, amazing, that's what we also would uh, agree. Awareness 